Peggy Scandoro, and I am your Saint 3D Makeup Artist. Have you ever heard of Saint? Of course you have. It's viral all over the place. This is the best makeup ever, especially for mature skin. It's where you use three shades, a contour, and two highlights to create one layer of makeup. This is exciting. This is so exciting. I love this makeup. It's cream. Therefore, it doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles. Oh, by the way, I'm 66 years old, so I got a lot of stuff going on, as you well know. And I tell you, this is just the best makeup that I've ever, ever used. So you use one palette and you use one brush. You can apply it with the dome end of this brush. However, I like the finger technique. Works for me. So I don't know what I did with my clip. So I guess I'll just have to work around my hair. I like to hold my palette, but I don't see my clip here. So, okay, here we go. So we're just going to tap into my contour and we're going to put it on the hard surfaces of my face, like my forehead, my cheek bones. Where's that cheek bone? There it is. And then where is it over here? There it is cheekbones we're going to put it on the jawbone too and contour is a really scary shade it's darker than you probably anything you've ever put on your face but contour creates shadows and also gives your face that depth and definition now we're just going to contour the nose we're going to go right on the top right down the bridge of the nose to the tip and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that afterwards. Sometimes I like to come just up here and sort of connect my eyebrows to it. That's another good tip that basically gives the inner part of our eyes, of course my eyes are hooded, so it gives the inner part of the eye to look, moves it back so that your eye kind of comes forward. Just a, a better look. Now, we're going to go to the brightening highlight. My brightening shade is Linen. Again, these shades I was custom color matched to, which you would need to be. And we're going to come down the bridge of the nose. See, automatically, look how much thinner my nose looks. Normally, I don't contour my nose, but that's because my nose is fine with me. But more women contour than don't. So, that's why I do it, just for demonstration for you. Now we're going to hit the cupid's bow because we're brightening the parts of my face that the light is going to hit and parts I want to bring, um, I want you to see when you look at me. So here we go. We're going to come right to the corner of the eye and right down the side of the face. Hello, Gail. Good to see you. I was thinking about you the other day. Okay, corner of the eye to down the side of the nose. Now look at what little bit of product I am using because again, I have crepe skin under my eyes. I don't want to highlight that. That's the last thing I want you to look at. So what I'm doing is drawing your eye away from my negative features. So now we're going to come to the corner of the eye and we're going to brighten and go up into the temple. Now look at this eye and look at this one. When you look at this one, the eye goes up. That's what we want. We want that natural face lift. Come over here. We're going to just do the same thing. Again, very little product because, uh, like I said, I'm 66, so I have crepe skin everywhere. So here we go. Here we go. Now we are brightened, so we're going to move on to my main shade. My, the main shade, which is the shade you're closest to the skin uh, color of your skin, is a shade that you put in like your bearded area and shade where you put where you don't have anything else. So today I am using Amber. Amber has a lot of yellow in it, therefore it is perfect to color correct red. I have rosacea. I'm always red, seems like not with Saint. And again, see what little bit of product I'm using. I'm not globbing it on and it's not layer after layer. It's three shades. It's one layer of makeup. Unbelievable. I know, I know. I love it, love it, love it. By it being cream, what it is doing too is it is warming to the temperature of my face. And when we spread, it's going to be magic, 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 magic. 
Okay, we're going to put just a little bit on the sides of the nose because I, with the rosacea, tend to be red, red. And I have to go around the corner of the nose because it seems like that's where I'm always, always red. So we now have our foundation placed. All three of these shades are on. I'm just about ready to blend. But before I do, I'm going to show you the lip and cheek. I like to blend all at one time. You can put the lip and cheek on after because the cheek is blush. But I'm going to use Venice today. And the reason that I'm showing you Venice is because I am so excited about the shades of the season. Our very first release. There's four shades. One is Tiger Lily, and I think it is like almost exactly the shade of Venice, with the exception Venice is a gloss, Tiger Lily is a satin. So that's going to make them just a tad different. If you like, like the uh, matte finish, then Tiger Lily will probably be what you love. But I kind of like the, um, a little bit of gloss. Sometimes I will put a gloss on over the lip and cheek, but I'm thinking Tiger Lily's going to be really, really close to this. This is Love Spell, which I wore yesterday, which is in the collection. And this is the actual shade of Love Spell. Okay, let's go into Venice. I love color. Don't be afraid of color. I don't care how old you are. I am a bold color person. Now, I understand some of you are like, uh-uh, ain't going to happen. We've got some pinks for you too. You, all of our shades are not this bold. Matter of fact, we have more pinks than we do bold colors. And again, that's just saying, I don't know why there's a vast variety of pinks. So if you're kind of a barely there girl, too new, too pink, we've got you covered. If you're a red girl and a bold, like a coral person like me, we got you covered too. Okay, now we're going to come see how I have my contour right here. I'm going to go right above that with my um, lip and cheek or blush as probably you would call it. And I'm just going to dab it on. That's it. I am finished. Look like a clown? Sure, but not for long. Not for long. It's all in the blending. So I'm going to take my 3D brush. Again, everything I have on my face was in this one palette. And you know what? Each one of these tins are individual. So if I run out of one, like I'm getting ready to run out of linen, $16 and I order a new one. No $50 for another bottle. No piling on, you know, layer after layer after layer. One layer. Now, watch this. We do, you do, since it is cream, it does need to be set. Saint does have a setting powder. Um, I'm sorry, setting spray. You can use a setting power, powder or you can use any setting spray that you may have on hand. Strictly up to you. I'm going to use Saint's. I'm a shaker, so I'm going to shake it. And spray my brush. Give it a couple of taps just to get it worked in really, really well. Now, we're going to blend. I usually do the jaw area first because if not, I forget. And I have many a time turned to the side and in the, the driver's window, I've seen this line. You want the shadow there because I want it to hide my turkey neck. But you just gently want to swirl. You don't want a distinct line, but see how it's created that shadow? You want the shadow there. So we're just going to ever so gently drag it down our neck and just blend very gently. Now, we're going to go to the lighter shades that I put on my face, which is my main shade and my brightener. And what I'm going to do is just stipple. stipple stippling is just quickly, quickly tapping as I am pressing this cool, uh, cream makeup where I want it to stay and putting it exactly where I want it to go as well as it is spreading it. What could be easier? Nothing that I know of. Saint is just miracle, wonderful makeup. It is like the mature woman's dream. Where has this been since I started getting mature skin in the late 40s and, and early 50s? Now that I am getting close to 70, I almost can't say it, getting close to 70, I need something that is fast, something that 
covers but doesn't settle in these fine lines and wrinkles because literally I would have to stretch my face to the back of my head and tie a knot in it to get all of these wrinkles out. It is what it is. I am embracing the aging process. Do I like it? No. But am I embracing it? Yes. And that's why, ladies, I'm telling you this cream makeup is where it is at if you have mature skin. I mean, I have wrinkles, guys. I have crinkles. I have jowls. I, I've got it all. And I am just so crazy about this Saint makeup. It's amazing. But look at this. Look at this. I mean, I'm just stippling the cream warm to my face. Therefore, it is going exactly where I put it, and it's not going anywhere else. It's going to stay on my face. It, it's one layer of makeup. It wears like a second skin. You really hardly know it's there. So now I'm going to come and blend the contour. Sometimes, now the contour is a little bit different consistency than the highlights are, which the two highlights that we just put on. So what you have to do there is I do a little bit of a circle blend, but again, I'm barely touching my face and go up into that hairline because you don't want lines anywhere. You want, you don't want to do a hard blend because you can blend everything out if you blend too long uh, or too much. That's real easy to do. So you don't want to blend a whole lot, but you don't want to leave distinct and, and like hard lines like what's right here. Okay, now we're blended everywhere except the cheeks. So I'm going to come over here, see my contour line. I'm just going to stipple up and down that contour line two times. And then we're going to bring the contour and the lip and cheek up towards the temple. Whenever you are blending, always remember to blend up. Up is good. Now come over here on the other cheek. We're going to do the same thing. Now the really cool part about this, I can do this in five minutes or less. Really less. If I do my eyes six or seven minutes and I'm done. That's full eyeshadow. Two shades. There we go. Now I'm still red through here just a little bit because of my rosacea and probably because I came too far with my lip and cheek. So I'm just going to dip into my brightener. I'm going to put it right there and watch. Blue, fixed. There we go. There we go. I'm done. I am done. Literally five minutes or less. What could be easier? And look at the coverage. I'm telling you, this is a 66-year-old face getting ready to turn 67. Again, crepe skin above the eyes, hooded lids, um, jowls. I have it all. What can I say? Turkey neck. You know, <laughs> I mean, again, if you have a double neck or a double chin, contour can help fix that as well. Why have you tried saying? Why not? It's affordable. It's cream. It's wonderful makeup, and I dearly love it. How do you start? You start with this makeup bag, which is, again, for tens, because the lip and cheek normally comes like this, where they all do. It's a full size. This was just like in an advent calendar last year that I had purchased, so to... You know, it was on sale, so you only got the half tint. Normally, I would have a full lip and cheek there. But you start with a, a contour, two highlights, and a lip and cheek. Lip and cheek is up to you. I need to color match you for the contour and the two highlights because I want it to be the correct shades the way that I was color matched, and I want you to love it as much as I do. All you have to do to get started and get a color match, because like I say, you need a palette, four shades, and a brush. That's it. That's what I did right here. Comment match or me in the comments, and let's start a conversation and see if this is the right makeup for you. I'm sure it is, but again, let's just have a, a little talk. Again, comment me. And I'll give you more details. I'll answer your questions. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'm really good about responding. So I so appreciate.